Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out the new Fenty Beauty Body Illuminizers. As you guys know, Rihanna recently launched two new body highlighters. There is a liquid one that comes in two shades and a powder pom-pom sort of highlighter. So I finally got my hands on some and I bought one of each and also the new face and body kabuki brush. For the Body Lava Body Illuminizer, I bought the shade Who Needs Clothes. This is a gel-based high shine illuminizer that gives your skin a nice sun-kissed radiant glow. I did a swatch test of the Body Lava on my hand and the first thing I noticed that it is quite glittery. So it's not like a subtle sort of glow, it's like you could see the actual glitter particles in it. So if you're not a big fan of like chunky glitter particles, you may not like this. But then again, it's not on your face, it's on your body. So it might kind of give you a different look. Now with this baby, you can apply it on your arms, your legs, your shoulders, around your chest area, pretty much anywhere on your body. And I'm not too sure if you can use it on your face too, but like when I felt it on my hand, it is a little bit tacky. So I'm not too sure if you want that on your face, but for body, I think it seems to be fine. You can apply the body lava on with the new Kabuki brush. This is a face and body brush. It's great for blending out liquid or powder formulas. It's cruelty free and it's made out of synthetic fibers. Then there's the Fairy Bomb Glittering Pom Pom and it's a puff that's pre-packed with super fun 3D rose gold shimmer designed for dabbing directly all over the body. So I'm gonna try out this baby first. So like I said before, this shade is uh, Who Needs Clothes? Great name for it. Now with this liquid illuminizer, I would suggest you sort of like build it up slowly because just like just looking at the swatch on my hand, a little goes a long way. So you don't want to like overdo it first go. So instead just like build it up slowly. So I think what I'm going to do is just like pump it on. Just two little pumps there. And then I'm just going to buff it in with um, the Kabuki brush. So for me, I normally like to put it around my collarbone so it like kind of pops, especially like for photo shoots and stuff. I feel like it just makes everything looks nice and dewy. So I just applied it a little bit there and then around here where the light hits it, you can see. So I just like to apply my highlighter there. You can see the difference on camera. You can see that this side picks up the light and reflects it a bit more. But actually it looks really subtle on camera, but like when I look at it in the mirror, it's actually quite like, I don't know, glittery and it's quite chunky and quite obvious. But in photos and on video, it actually looks really subtle. So it gives you, it looks more like a sheen, but in person you can see the glitter particles way more. I might build it up a little bit and just apply. Literally, you only need a little bit, so don't go overboard. Just buff it in. For this, I would definitely recommend using a brush because I tested it on my hand and I just like, you know, use my fingers to spread it out and literally it just went everywhere. There is a subtle scent to this. It smells sort of like, sort of like vanilla or it smells like, you know, when you go to those Victoria's Secret um, shops, it smells like their perfume, it kind of smells like that. It's not overpowering, but there is a smell there. So if you spray your perfume on top, it might change the smell of it because it's going to mix. Um, but other than that, it smells quite nice and kind of like, kind of like a holiday. Now, normally you would apply the illuminizer after you get dressed, but I know a lot of you guys are wondering if it actually transfers. So I have a black t-shirt here and I'm just going to do like a quick dab test over that area to see if any of the glitter particles will transfer onto my t-shirt. And I think it might. So I'm just gonna just dab it. Like so, especially on my shoulders actually. Hmm. Look, it does transfer a little bit, but it's just glitter particles. There's no color or anything. So I don't think it's like, a big issue and this is black okay so worst comes to worst you may see a bit of glitter particles on your like black or dark shirts but to me that's like not a big issue at all there's no color transfer even though there is, there is a hint of color in this you can't really see a transfer on on black now let's move on to this thing this is the fairy bomb pom pom um, it's like full of glitter I saw a video where someone cut it up and it's just like a, I don't know, I guess like a little packet of glitter 
like at the bottom of this. So all up here is just like stuffing and it's just like nothing up there. But the glitter is just packed down at the bottom. But up top there's a little loop, you can pop your fingers through there and it's a good size that you can just like pat it. You're supposed to dab it onto your skin. So I think I'm gonna try it on this half of my body. Now this also has a smell. I think it was, um, I think I read the website, it was like vanilla coconut. It smells quite nice. But it's not like an overpowering um, smell. I feel like this vanilla smells much stronger than the powder. Okay, so I'm just going to dab it onto my skin. I don't really see anything happening. I think I might have to dab a bit harder. to like really like get it on there oh yeah it's working mm -hmm. oh actually you can see it's starting to come out the darker sort of um shade here the powder starting to come out so i just got to go a little bit harder and just give myself a little massage whilst i'm at it uh... whoa okay yep so it's it's pretty glittery as well um Definitely more glitter particles on this compared to the gel. I feel like on the side that I use the body lava, it gives you a more, I guess like a bit of a softer, more diffused glow with little bits of glitter particles here and there. Whereas this one, I feel like it does give you a much stronger sort of highlight on your body. And um, because the pom pom is quite big, it kind of just spreads out everywhere and I can see bits of it like on my neck. So it is a little bit messier to use than the body lava. Now, because this is a powder product, I am definitely sure it's going to transfer a lot more on my black t-shirt just because it's powder and there's nothing really like sticking it down. Yeah. Yep, can you guys see that? Because it's powder, there's nothing like sticking it to my skin. Hence, if you touch anything and I just slightly dabbed my t-shirt on there, you could see how much glitter transfers. So the glitter particles are much chunkier and it will be a lot messier um, once on your skin. So that might be like a con. Okay, so now that I have both sides on, I think I'm gonna wear it for the rest of the day. I'm gonna do a wear test, and I'm in Singapore, guys, so it gets quite hot and humid here. I wanna see how this kind of holds up on your body, just like any other makeup. Let's see how long it lasts, and then um, I'll come back at the end of the day and show you guys the results and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I am back guys. I've worn this body highlighter for the whole day. I even went grocery shopping with this like glam happening. I was just glistening in the aisles. At the grocery store, I even noticed that my hands were full of glitter. And I think this is, it's just from like adjusting my handbag and just like moving it around. And, and then Alfred and I went to have dinner. We had um, crab and you know, it was like one of those like Cajun spice crabs where you had the bib on. So the bib did touch around here and I had my handbag, which was sort of like on my shoulders and that thing was covered in glitter by the end of the day. Now, when I look at the sides and compare both of them, I feel like the, the side where I use the body lava I feel like that side is still really dewy compared to the other side where I use the glitter bomb. It's not as glowy as before and this thing is just messy to use. Overall, I feel like the body lava side does definitely last a lot longer. Now, personally, I didn't feel like uncomfortable wearing it, but Alfred, when he sort of like leaned or touched my body, he just said I felt really sticky. For me, I didn't feel sticky because I guess because I'm not like touching myself all the time. But when he touched me, he said it was like really icky and sticky. Sort of like when you're like really sweaty and you touch someone. So I guess it doesn't feel nice for other people. The smell of both products do linger on you. So if you're not a big fan of vanilla, I think you may not like this product. I don't mind it, but I mean, I prefer something a bit more fruity. So I didn't spray my perfume on today, but um, I felt like I can still smell that vanilla smell all over me. Now, out of the products that I tried today, I would definitely recommend the Fenty Beauty Body Lava over the Fairy Bomb. This one, it looks cute and all, but it's just not practical for me and it's a little bit messier and I guess harder to control, especially if you wanna just like highlight just smaller parts. I feel like you should definitely go with the body lava. 
With this, you can easily control where you apply it. Also, you can definitely build it up in layers if you want that like beaming crazy highlight, or if you want something subtle, you can just apply a, a thin amount over that area. Overall, I quite like this product. I would rate it an eight out of 10. It is a nice body illuminizer and I can see myself using it when I have photo shoots or a special event to go to. Um, it does feel a little bit tacky, so if you don't mind that, you can try this out. Also, it does transfer a little bit, but not like, not anything like too crazy, no color transfer. It's just more so the glitter particles, uh, but you saw it on my black t-shirt. It's nothing like too crazy. Now for the pom-pom, I would probably rate it like a four out of 10. Um, this stuff, it just, you know, kind of goes everywhere and it transfers. So it's a little bit messy and um, you definitely have to keep the box. So make sure you keep the box if you buy it. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative, you can just mix some Illuminizer with like a body moisturizer or even just like use your highlighter and just use your fingers and just rub it onto the areas that you wanna highlight. I feel like that kind of gives you a similar effect, especially if you're only, you know, wanting it for like a special occasion and you don't need like this much product. So you don't need to invest that much money into this. Anyways, that's it to this episode of Tina Tries It. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications if you haven't already. And I will speak to you guys next time. Bye.